grace and peace be multiplied to you in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is Pastor D of Bethel Apostolic Ministries International, um, a forward-thinking ministry in northern New Jersey that is touching lives and preparing people to fulfill their destinies. I am also a therapist that has been working in early intervention for the past 16 years. I am the author of a specialist, Special Autism Treatment, a Biblical Approach, which looks at the biblical component of autism spectrum disorder. And I am the COO of a specialist, Special Consulting and Therapeutic Services, and our website is specialistspecial.biz. You can check that out um, at your convenience. I'm here today just to share another strategy or a few strategies with you that will help your special needs child to focus better. One of the things that plague these special needs kids is the fact that they're very restless and unfocused. They can't sit still for very long, but with these strategies, you're gonna see an improvement in their ability to focus. So one of the things that we do with them uh, before a sit down activity is that we swing them in a sheet or we, we squash them between pillows and they love these things. Uh, they laugh a lot and they enjoy it. And so um, you can do that if you want to go um, you know, high tech, you can get a trampoline that they can bounce on or, bounce on or get um, an over the door uh, swing that you can just put in the doorway and use that um, just to regulate them before any sit down activity. But uh, from my perspective, there's always a spiritual component to what is going on with the autism, uh, with the kids with autism. And so if you remember, there's a conversation that the Lord had with Job in Job chapter two and verse two, when the Lord asked him where he was, he said he was walking up and down in the earth and going to and fro in it. And this is something that you see with the special needs kids they will move from place to place. They are always restless. They are not able to focus. So there's a spiritual component. This is a spirit um, that is not of God. And so we want to arrest that and address that using spiritual strategies. So the spiritual strategy that I want to share with you is to have your child um, listening to worship songs during the night. As they sleep, the, the songs are just playing in their room constantly, constantly playing over and over and over. What you're doing with this strategy is waking up this child's spirit, waking up the spirit of God that lives on the child. From a previous video, I told you that there's a piece of God on the inside of, of every child, every human being. We have been created based on Genesis 2, 7, in the image of God. God has no physical image. What he has done when he created us is to put a piece of his spirit in us, and he's never inappropriate. He's never restless. He's, he's not, he doesn't have any disorder. And so as we play these worship songs, the kid's spirit is being awakened. The God part of the kid is being awakened, and that is going to cause a different response. When the kid wakes up in the morning, they are going to be more focused. And over time, you're going to see that this kid may, may even be singing some of these songs before they talk. All right. So I really encourage you to use this strategy with the child. Praise God. Just leave it there. Um, loop it. Loop a song, a, your, one of your favorite worship songs, and just leave it there playing all the time, round and round, over and over in the atmosphere to spiritualize the atmosphere and in addition to that you can also tape um, maybe psalm 91 it's a very powerful psalm and just leave it in the room looping it's either that or the 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 worship songs and you can also reuse the the psalm 91 as a part of the child's bedtime routine some people some children start reading the bible before they read other books so in addition to reading um, uh, an, an, another book or a bedtime story to the child or singing a nursery rhyme or a lullaby, 
then uh, you can make Psalm 91 a part of that routine. When you are sending the word out in the atmosphere, you're actually sending the spirit of God out into the atmosphere. And so what, you, what you're doing, you're bringing Jesus Christ into the situation. And he can handle anything. He is the peace speaker. He is the water walker. He is the demon chaser. He can handle anything. So you're bringing him into the situation. In St. John 1 and verse 1 to 2, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And verse 14 talks about, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So Jesus Christ uh, was the word in flesh that came. And so the words that we're sending out, their spirit and their life and the change atmospheres. I'm going to read the Psalm 91 for you if you want to just download it and, and, and have it in your child's room. My voice, I know my voice is a very powerful voice in the spirit realm, praise God. And, and you can use this or you can do your own taping. In the name of Jesus, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on eye because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is Psalm 91, a very powerful psalm. One of my favorite psalms, praise God. You can just use it to spiritualize your child's environment. And you're going to see a better response. And just like every other therapeutic strategy that you use, you have to be consistent with it. Just like you're using A, B, or any other strategy, you have to be consistent with whatever you're doing with this child. So it's not that you play this one day and just forget about it. When spirits have invaded environments, they have to be driven out violently. And sometimes they're territorial, just like they're invaders. Like someone would come and take over your house. And, it, and it's difficult to get them out. It's the same thing when there's a spiritual infestation. And um, all the, the things that are happening in the world is due to a spiritual infestation somewhere. And so want to, um, and as you pray, and for those of you who pray, as you pray against the, the, the uh, a spirit of autism, pray against a deaf, pray against a deaf and a dumb spirit that Jesus um, casted out of this little boy in St. Mark chapter 9. God bless you. Trust that this has been helpful for you and your family. Just know that God is rooting for you. Um, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, The thoughts and the plans that he has towards you are for peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end is not his will for you and your family to be going, going through what you're going through with your special needs, child. And he wants you well. He wants you to be healed. And that's why he has um, inspired me to write the book, especially Special Autism Treatment, A Biblical Approach. And he has also given me the inspiration to put these videos together so that people from across the world can benefit. God bless you. If you need um, to consult with me, please give me a call at 551-267-2141. We can share additional strategies with you that will help you, definitely help your child um, to go to the next level. Sometimes it's just one new strategy that changes uh, a child's uh, therapeutic trajectory. 
So please give me a call at 551-267-2141 if you need additional information and we can do that through consultation. God bless you. Just know that you're not alone. God is in heaven praying for you and we're rooting for you and hoping that through the grace of God, you and your child will be well. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.